Hello there everyone, UXW Bill here once again, and today we're continuing with all these crazy automotive projects that we have going on. The anti-lock brake system has had a fault on my truck for the longest time, and probably about a year, hopefully not much more than a year ago, I had the key keeper plug in a GM scan tool to ask the ABS computer on this truck exactly what the problem was. And it stated that the problem was with the left front wheel sensor. So what I have here is a replacement wheel sensor. And I love the icon on this tag. You see that uh, cow head there? I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, but I find that very interesting. Probably has meaning to General Motors or whoever made this for them, however. Anyway, the key keeper and I, as soon as I get down to his place of work, are going to get this truck high and we're going to put this crazy thing on and hopefully that'll fix the problem of this truckling's anti-lock braking system being particularly naughty. So, let's hope. The door handle's about to fall out of your door, you know that? I know, that's what I talked to the body shop about. Alright, now what we're getting ready to do here, we're going to need some help from Night Shot, I think. I'm getting ready to verify that I have indeed been able to trust my memory and that my recollection of the problem is correct. What we have here is a very fancy and probably very expensive scan tool. Is that a G is that a genuine GM Tech 2 or just something This is compatible? a Genesis Evo from Napa. Oh. The Tech 2s are over there and over there. But this work for a Chevy. Oh that's nice. Sits up on the steering wheel and you hum a little tune while you wait for it, huh? That's right. GM, general mess. <laughs> okay, we're waiting for it to come up with the diagnostic trouble codes that are stored in the ABS Left system. Left front wheel speed sensor open or shorted, so that's this side. Uh, All right. So leave that pulled up and we'll get high. All righty, I like the sound of that. My rack doesn't do that. You get to look at how much of a rusty wreck this thing is underneath. Compare and contrast to the station wagon. That is where a thoughtless and mean-spirited Buick smote my truck. Okay, there's the spare tire, and if you're a smart person like I am, you inflate and check the pressure in that baby at least yearly. This thing really does not look bad at all. Maybe it'd be better to use the regular light for this. Let's try that. Go ahead and force it on so it doesn't sit here and blink on and off. It really doesn't look bad. The exhaust system's in pretty good shape. Of course, General Motors said they put a, a stainless steel exhaust system on this truck. Now, the key keeper tells me I've got five U-joints in this thing. Are they greasable? <laughs> well, there's a Zerk there, yeah. Then I'm going to grease them. There's the catalytic converter. Because if I have to replace them, I'm charged to be twenty dollars a joint. <laughs> Tail shaft to the transmission. You should really grease your truck more often. A bunch of water just came out of that tie rod end. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. You look at the grease. The old O2 sensor. It looks like crap. And the new O2 sensor, which is starting to look like an old O2 sensor. Okay, I'm going to take your two front tires off so I can grease the. Well, I may not. There's my fuel filter, which I replaced about a year ago. It certainly doesn't look like it's been replaced recently. Amazingly, it came undone. Yeah, this thing's not in terrible shape. There's places where it's fairly rusty and places where it's actually not bad at all. Okay, now for those wondering, this is much the same setup as the Caprice wagon has. And what we're going to be doing, we're going to start by taking this end cap off. We're going to pop the wheel bearings out, pop the rotor and the brake uh, caliper off and things like that. What we're going to end up replacing is this backing plate right here because the ABS sensor that I got actually comes with a whole new one. And won't that just look out of place under here? Because <laughs> all this stuff has acquired the patina of traveling over many roads and even some rust along the way. Okay folks, there's the old backing plate and this right in the middle is the ABS sensor. And again, this works very simply. 
when the brakes are applied, the computer, the ABS computer, watches for any wheel that is slowing down at a much greater rate, implying that it might be about to lock up. And if a wheel stops rotating while the others still are, then the ABS computer tries to help you maintain control by electronically pumping the brakes via pump and motor system. Anyway, there's the old sensor and the old uh, surround plate that it's mounted to, and here by comparison is the new one. And wow, doesn't that look a lot different? And then here on the back of the brake rotor itself is the serrated wheel that the computer uses to sense how fast or if the wheel is turning. Very similar to the setup on the Caprice wagon. Well, it's still squeaky, but at least it still runs. <laughs> You get that big wart off the steering wheel? They're trying to break my chair. Oh, well, would you look at that? We still have an ABS light, but according to the scan tool, the test passed and no fault conditions were found. Oh, lovely. Okay, here's that. All right, he's trusting me to hold a very expensive tool here. Our ABS fault light is still on. Maybe something needs to be power cycled. I don't know. I see an Audiac. Is that Camaro right there? He's that's the one antenna with off. the 3.8 that's got the blown motor. Bummer. Pick up some speed. I would say the brakes work. <laughs> it is an S10 just like yours. <laughs> Dude, They're everywhere, that's aren't they? Awesome. Yeah. There's, it's even got the same kind of wheels, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. Dude. It's a clone. <laughs> Dude, that is far out trippy. I bet that's what was going on. Had All right. While. Yeah, maybe we had to do a bit of a drive cycle or something, but the ABS light is definitely off now. And you can tell we don't have uh, image stabilization. And what's worse, I don't have my seatbelt on. Yep, we cleared our diagnostic trouble code. Maybe it just needed to be driven, and now we're doing something totally awesome. We are careening around a car lot full of new cars at speed in a truck that has just had brake work done on it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Look, Ma, no warning lights.